50 years ago, Seiko released one of the first ever automatic chronograph movements in a watershed moment that changed the history of watchmaking forever. Unsurprisingly, the possibility of having such a complicated watch on your wrist in 1969 was pretty exciting, and they would go on to become enormously popular, giving birth to countless cult classics. This year, the Japanese manufacturer is celebrating this 50th anniversary with the release of the Seiko Automatic Chronograph SRQ029J 50th anniversary, which has been placed in the Prospects family. With an attractive panda dial, the two chronograph registers are black at 6 and 9, with running seconds seen ticking away in the silvered subdial. The syringe hands offer a nice vintage touch, and the black tachymeter inner bezel frames the dial nicely, without appearing overwhelming like some tachymeters do. The SRQ029J is powered by Seiko's in-house 8R48 movement, which features a column wheel and vertical clutch and gives you 45 hours of power reserve, which is more than enough if you wear the watch regularly. The size is great at 41mm, and the case is eye-catching with the immaculate Zeratsu polishing that is typical from the brand that makes the case lines razor sharp. The watch is fairly tall at 16mm high, but as it sits proudly on the wrist, it is offset by lugs that taper swiftly into the steel bracelet. If you wanted to fit it under the cuff of a dress shirt, you might struggle, but that's probably the case with all members of the Prospects family. The SRQ029J has an RRP in Australian dollars of 5050 which some might balk at because of the lettering on the dial, but I'd argue that in the context of in-house watchmaking from any landlocked European country, this is relatively affordable. The watch is limited to a thousand pieces and will be available from December this year. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and get the latest from time and time.